Welcome to Glovin Bible College and Seminary. It's good to have you with us in class uh, today. This is Deliverance and Healing class, and we've been talking about three stages of bondage. Now we are talking about stage two, which is legal rights. What is the legal right? Legal right are the legal rights are things that you do that give the enemy access to your life that give them rights to do whatever you want or let me just simplify it it's like somebody come to your house they won't have access to your house unless you open the door the moment you open the door you give them direct access to come into your house that's what legal right is all about these are the things that we do that gives the enemy access into our life that gives the enemy permission to do what they are doing. But today, when we are talking about legal rights, this stage two, what are we going to address today? Today, we want to address what we call uh, a death wish. Death wish. What is death wish? A death wish is a strong or persistent desire to die. A strong or persistent desire to die. Usually, this form during immense emotional pain or a long period of stress. And we have examples of this in the Word of God. But when we are talking about death wish, it's like a self-cursion. When you place curses upon yourself or when you uh, invite the enemy into your own life to do whatever they want. And this happens as a reaction to pain or reaction to stress or reaction to when we are going through uh, some stubborn situation or terrible things happen in our life. If we don't, if you don't control your emotion, you, if you don't control the situation and the way you react to it, death wish comes in uh, automatically. That's why it's very important to address because the moment you allow that we begin to wish, even some people say, I just wish I can die. I just can't take this anymore. The moment you say that, that's one thing I want us to know. When you speak, words don't die. So the moment you speak and you say you wish to die, you have given, you have opened the door, but because that is against the will and the purpose of God, you have opened the door for the enemies to come in, to come and carry out the assignment. You just gave them instruction. You just gave them a command. You just told them what to do. They may not kill you physically, but they will come in to destroy, to kill, to destroy, and to steal. They will come in to carry out the assignments of the devil. Praise God. Let's look at the examples in the Word of God. The first example, I want us to look at the book of uh, Numbers, the book of Numbers chapter 11, verse 15. It says, And if thou deal thus with me, kill me, I pray thee, out of hand. If I find favor in thy sight, let me not see my wretchedness. This is Moses crying unto God because it was just... It, it, it was just tired. He had enough of what the children of Israel, what they were doing. Because when they get into the wilderness, they began to cry unto Moses that we don't have enough food. The food we used to eat in Egypt, we don't have food anymore. Moses cried unto the Lord and the Lord brought manna from heaven. And when they ate manna to a point, I think they just get tired of eating the same food every day. And they cried to Moses again that we used to eat cucumber, we used to eat melon, we used to eat watermelon, we used to eat this, we used to eat vegetable, but we don't have that anymore. Only we have now is manna, manna, manna. And they began to cry unto the Lord as God was just tired of what they are doing. Moses was tired as well. And Moses just wished because it was too much for him to handle. And that's the same, the same situation. The same thing is happening in your life today. You think what you are going through is too much to handle. And you think the only solution is just for you to die. And so many people, they actually don't wish to die. It's just a cliche. But guess what? The devil doesn't see it as a cliche. The devil holds onto everything that comes out of our mouth. 
That is very important. When it comes to the area of deliverance or spiritual warfare, we need to understand this. We need to know that everything you open your mouth to say, the devil holds onto it and words don't die. Words don't go away. Words don't go away. Don't, words don't die. So that's the key. So you don't say that, that, oh, I just wish to die. That's what Moses said here. Though Moses didn't die, but he never made it to the promised land. He didn't make it to the promised land. Praise God. Let's look at another example. The book of 1 Kings chapter 19. 1 Kings chapter 19, I read verse 4. Let me read from verse 1. And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done, and withal how he had slain all the prophets with a sword. Then Jezebel sent a message, a messenger to Elijah, saying, So let the gods do to me, and more also, if I make not thy life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. And when he saw that, he arose and went for his life, and came to be a shaber which belonged to Judah, and left his servant there. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness, and came and sat down under a juniper tree, and he requested for himself that he might die, and said, It is not now, O Lord. Take away my life, for I am not better than my father's. For I am not better than my father's. Let's look. This is a man of God, that God had used to bring revival to Israel, to cause the, the nation, the house of Israel, to change from idolatry back to God, to the worship of God, Jehovah. And the same man that killed the prophets of Baal, now ran in front of one woman. And because of his frustration, when we, when we look at this man, when, as he was running, he ran 80 miles, 80 miles. After that, he was tired, he was exhausted, and he was about to give up. Guess what he did? Death wish. Death wish. He wished to die. So, God didn't allow him to die, but he was replaced. He was replaced. He didn't finish his assignment. He didn't fulfill his ministry. He was replaced. That's what death wish. That's what he does. That's what death wish does. When you wish to die, the devil holds on to it. And he will use it against you because the moment you do that, you have given the enemy a legal right to operate in your life. The impact of the death wish is to cause emotional numbness, withdrawal, hopelessness, and despair. And despair. You know, death wishes are often made as a result of sexual abuse. Because you are sexually abused and you think that's the end of your life, I want to tell you today, that is not the end of your life. The enemy wishes to destroy you, but God sent us to design this class so that you may tell you that you have hope and you have future. That doesn't have to be the end of your life. That's just the beginning of great and mighty things that God will do in your life. You don't have to wish to die. You just have to put the enemies wrong. You just have to prove the devil wrong. That yes, God has a great plan for your life. You know what the word of God says in the book of Jeremiah? The Bible says, I know the thought that I think towards you. It's of peace, not of evil. To give you an expected end. Another version says to give you hope and a future. You have a great future ahead of you. Don't because of somebody sexually abuse you. Or somebody emotionally abuse you. Or physically abuse you. That's why you think that's the end of your life. No. That's just the beginning of great and mighty things. That God will do in your life. A lot of people. They wish that they die because of stress and pressure. Some because they just went through divorce or relationship breakup. And you think that's the end of your life? No, that's not the end of your life. That's just the beginning. Because God is about you to give you a better, a better relationship. He's about you to give you the best of the best. But most importantly, your relationship with Him is the best of all. Is the best of all. Hallelujah. 
You see, some will say, I just want to die. I just want to die. I want to tell you today, that is the plan of the enemy for your life. Do not allow that. Remember, God has a plan for you because that wishes open the door to demonic oppression. That wishes open the door to demonic oppression. If you are taking this class and you know probably in, in the past or you just did of recent and you just wish to die, I would like to pray for you because that legal right that you have given the enemy, we have to withdraw it. We have to take it back. So wherever you are, I want you to stretch forth your hands towards the screen as we pray. I stand on the word of God today. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come in agreement with this person and I cancel every legal right that he or she had given to the enemy, that given the enemy access to do whatever they want in this or our life. So today, we withdraw this right today. We cancel it, we terminate it. In the name of Jesus. And I hear my decree. That devil. You no longer have any right. To torment this one. You no longer have any right. To do whatever you want. In the name of Jesus. I bind you. I arrest you. I bind you. And cast you out of the life of this one. I command you to take your hands off. Because this one belongs to Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And Jesus paid the price on the cross. That he or she made. We are not have to pay another price. I decree total deliverance today. The power of the almighty set you free. And you are free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you heavenly father. For an answer of prayer. Thank you for total deliverance. Your name will be praised Lord. In Jesus mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. Yes, it is well with you. It is well with you. I will invite you to come back then for next session because the next session is coming back on very, very soon. And don't forget, as you have been blessed on this channel, you have been blessed taking this class, I want you to forward it to as many people as you can so that they may be blessed as well. So you've been blessed. It is time for you to be a blessing. Invite many people to this channel to come and take the same class because you never know. Those that the devil has put in bondage, God might use you to set them free. And your reward is not, going, is not only going to be in heaven, your reward for doing that is going to be here on earth. God bless you. It is well with you. Amen.